Gaspar Gehene is 86 years old and lives in Chimirongo here in Kigali City. He explained to us that patriotism has always been part of Rwanda's culture. People would gather and announce that a given individual is a hero based on his integrity, the way he advises others and how he carries out his duties. Such people were always highly regarded. When they went to war to fight for the kingdom, they always shared their rations with others and were quick to go to the aid of other wounded soldiers. Obviously, picking up a wounded soldier in battle and placing him on your back means you are putting your own life at risk for them. Gaspar emphasizes, however, that today's youth, male or female, do not have to wait for war to prove their bravery or show how patriotic they are because there are plenty of opportunities to show such qualities on a daily basis. An example of a person doing this is Godliv Mukasarasi, the founder of the organization Sevota that cares for widows whose spouses were killed during the 1994 genocide against Tutsis in Rwanda. Her organization has so far assisted more than 70,000 people. Heroism requires integrity sacrifice in a person to see beyond their own personal needs. You must seek to do what benefits the general public and respect government policies and efforts to this end. You cannot be a hero if you are not well behaved and this is especially true when it comes to the youth. Young people should be united because you all have different skills and talents that can complement each other. Merging all that can result in good programs in different areas and regions and that way the authorities can support those efforts through established channels. Regardless, all involved would still have to sacrifice because any endeavor can only grow when people actually put in the effort required. Officials at the country's Chancery for Heroes, National Orders and Decorations of Honor agree with Godliv, saying young people today should emulate the heroes of the past and learn from the tragedies the country had to endure. I believe if the youth today were to learn from what happened, from the terrible things we had to endure, what caused them and how to avoid them, focusing instead on what can help the country and its people to develop, working together, they can achieve a lot. Our cultural values emphasize unity a lot, proper behavior and hard work. They should take all of these things and use them to strive for long-term development, centering all of it on patriotism. Doing this for their country will allow them to get far in life. Heroes Day this year will have to be marked with the COVID-19 pandemic and its consequences still very much a problem in the country and beyond. This year's theme is focusing on patriotism being a source of pride and value for all Rwandans.